so in last lecture we will discuss about the competitive inhibition type where inhibitor binds to an active site of enzyme so they make competition with substrate but today we are going to study about non competitive inhibition type which is something different in this type inhibitor do not bind to an active site please note down this but they bind to an enzyme other than the active site on that enzyme so they have capacity to bind not only with enzyme but also the enzyme substrate complex also but not on the active site but the different site of the enzyme so we can write about this as enzyme in association with substrate form enzyme substrate complex and which give rise to the enzyme and product which this is what we are uh, continuously saying in our last two three parts but enzymes in presence of inhibitors forms enzyme inhibitor complex and this enzyme inhibitor complex can take up a substrate because the inhibitor site and substrate binding sites are different so it will result into enzyme substrate inhibitor complex where we can represent enzyme in association with substrate for enzyme substrate complex and this enzyme substrate complex can interact with inhibitor and again give rise to the enzyme substrate inhibitor complex if you notice that this complex contain three members that's why it is also known as ternary complex in this case but the important point is that once the inhibitor is present this enzyme substrate complex are not able to deliver a product so in this case in non competitive inhibition the kcat value has been affected which is a turnover number we call it as is affected because the inhibitor don't allow to separate or to break down enzyme substrate complex into the separate enzyme and separate product so inhibitor allows to form enzyme substrate complex but do not allows to form the product which is a kcat number or turnover number which is represent the total rate of reaction so this type of inhibitor do not create competition with substrate it allows to form enzyme substrate complex but it again interfere with enzyme substrate complex dissociation into the product so we have enzyme substrate complex which are trapped in enzyme substrate inhibitor complex concentration and indirectly we can say that it is of no use so let's check non competitive inhibition effect on vmax and km for that we will discuss uh, it in michaelis menten plot here x and y axis represent the velocity of reaction and substrate concentration and the curve line represent the course of reaction on y axis we have 1 upon 2 vmax which is the half velocity reached and on x axis the km value is indicated which shows the substrate concentration which is required for half velocity to achieve which was in normal case but in non competitive type of inhibitor what will happen to the graph is represented here the km value will remain the same but the total overall course vmax of the reaction will be decreased so it is very simple to understand why the km value is remaining the same but vmax value has been decreased first let's check why km remains the same or no changed because the substrate and inhibitor are not competing with each other to bind to an enzyme because they both get separate site to bind on the enzyme so whatever substrate concentration we have available will able to bind to an enzyme easily without any interference but the vmax of the reaction will be changed or decreased because as we have noted that enzyme substrate complex in association with inhibitor trapped inside the enzyme substrate inhibitor ternary complex and this complex is not able to deliver any kind of product so the total enzymes which are locked inside the enzyme substrate inhibitor complex as vmax is equal to the k2et this k2 is nothing but kcat or turnover number which represents the formation of product rate but the enzymes are trapped so the velocity or vmax is affected as so the value of the vmax is decreased 
वी कैन स्टडी अबाउट नॉन कॉम्पिटेटिव इनहिबिशन इन टर्म ऑफ लाइन व्यूअर बर्ग प्लॉट वेयर वाई एंड एक्स एक्सिस रिप्रेजेंट द वन बाय वी एंड वन बाय सबसेट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन रिस्पेक्टिवली द स्लोप ऑफ नॉर्मल ग्राफ वेयर इनिबिटर इज एबसेंट रिप्रेजेंट्स द इंटरसेप्शन पॉइंट ऑन द वाई एक्सिस इंडिकेट्स द हाफ वेलोसिटी एंड द इंटरसेप्शन पॉइंट ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द माइनस वन बाय के एम वैल्यू which is nothing but the subset concentration required to achieve the vmax so the non competitive type of inhibition where the slope will be look like this because minus 1 by km value is remaining the same but the vmax is changed so the question is why i have represent the change in vmax in upward direction because we are saying the vmax is decreasing so please recall when we say vmax is more it means 1 by vmax is less and when we say vmax is less it means 1 by vmax is more so on y axis when we go upward the value increases we are representing the vmax is less it means 1 by vmax value is more so in short in non competitive type of inhibition we have km value unchanged and vmax value is decreased but in last type of reversible inhibition where uncompetitive inhibition type where we can find no interaction between inhibitor and enzyme takes place when enzyme is alone or empty in competitive and non competitive inhibition type inhibitors can interact with anti enzyme but enzyme in association with substrate form enzyme substrate complex and which give rises to the enzyme and product in uncompetitive type of inhibition inhibitor only attack upon enzyme substrate complex only and which result into the formation of enzyme substrate inhibitor complex which is again a ternary complex so let's discuss about this uncompetitive type in my class maintain plot terms where normal plot indicates x and y axis where y axis shows the vmax of the reaction and x axis we shows km which is responsible for half the velocity of reaction but in uncompetitive type of reaction the slope of the reaction represents the changes in km as well as the vmax of the reaction so we need to find out the reason why km changes and why vmax of the reaction changes here you will notice that the km value is significantly lowered and vmax value is as well as significantly lowered so why km value is decreased because we know inhibitor binds only to the enzyme substrate complex and result into the formation of enzyme substrate inhibitor complex so to create the equilibrium between enzyme substrate inhibitor complex and enzyme substrate complex substrate binds at low concentration to the enzyme so immediately they creates enzyme substrate complex so the substrate concentration requirement is very less in order to form enzyme substrate complex to make the equilibrium with enzyme substrate inhibitor complex so the vmax of the reaction will be changed or decreased because as we have noted that enzyme substrate complex in association with inhibitor trapped inside the enzyme substrate inhibitor ternary complex and this complex is not able to deliver any kind of product so the total enzymes which are locked inside the enzyme substrate inhibitor complex as vmax is equal to the k2et this k2 is nothing but k cat or turnover number which represents the formation of product rate but the enzymes are trapped so the velocity or vmax is affected as so the value of the vmax is decreased we can represent this in line viewer berg plot as this plot represents the y axis for 1 by v x axis as 1 by subset concentration and the normal slope of line for normal reaction is the point of intersection on y axis is 1 by vmax and point of intersection on x axis is minus 1 by km but in uncompetitive type of reaction how would be the slope look like it will definitely look like this and the explanation for this is that 
the v max is decreased because we know the k2 et means the total enzymes are locked inside the enzyme substrate inhibitor complex so no product formation so velocity automatically get decreases so the v max decrease so one by v max is increased as we have already said why this inverse relationship is there so we have to point out on y axis one by v max is at this point and on x axis for minus one by km representation will be here so why we are presenting here because we are seeing the km value is decreased so it means one by km value is increased so one by km increase should go to near to the zero but notice this is not only generally the one by one by km it is minus one by km so this value should go to the left side and that's why this type of plot is generated so collectively if you look at the non competitive uncompetitive and competitive type of inhibition here i have represented four different types of graphs normal graph competitive inhibition graph non competitive inhibition graph and uncompetitive inhibition graph here uncompetitive inhibition graph shows changes in km and vmax value where both value are decreased in non competitive inhibition we have vmax decrease but km value is remain unchanged in competitive inhibition plot we have km value but vmax value remains the same and in normal plot where we have standard representation of km and vmax values this is sort of summary of our part 5 and part 6 of lecture 8 so in six different parts of eighth lecture we have studied about enzyme kinetic related portion in upcoming lecture we will discuss about enzyme mechanics related portion where we will study a live examples of how some enzymes perform or carry out their functions on the substrate so these topics will be very interesting i request you to please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon so you will get a notification about the lectures thank you very much for giving your time we will meet very soon in our next part of lecture 8 thank you